Ask Reddit. Rich people, what don't they tell you about being rich? Before we get started, like and subscribe. I'm not millionaire wealthy or anything outrageous. Just middle class and live within my means, but that's significantly better off than a lot of my cousins on my dad's side of the family. What they don't tell you about being the rich person in the family is that everyone feels entitled to your help. And they get pissy when you can't or won't give them money. And they don't seem to have any understanding that I have to live off my money first before I can give it to someone else. And they aren't the only ones begging for my help. If I gave money to everyone who asked for it, I'd have nothing left to live on. And I'm not buying your damn kids an iPhone for Christmas when they don't even have winter coats, okay? If I'm buying them anything, it's stuff that they need first. People will trivialize your problems especially those that require social support, like divorce, job loss, death of a family member, stuff like that. And they're damaging to your mental health. These scenarios are stressful for people of all levels of wealth, but people just think that because you're rich, you can't get depressed or that your problems don't matter because other people have it worse than you. People expect you to be okay with just giving them money and stuff. For example, I picked up some stuff at the store for someone at work, and when I asked for the money, she was like, you make way more than me, and you're being cheap about a few dollars? She never did repay me, and I will never do her another favor like that. It's irritating that people feel entitled to what I've earned. I also went out of my way to do that for her. Even when I made 13 bucks an hour, if someone did that for me, or I borrowed 50 friggin' cents, I always repaid it. Granted, it was only like 10 bucks, but that's not the point. I'm careful with money, and I take care of it, and it's part of the reason I am financially secure now. I don't care. Laugh at me. Call me cheap. Whatever. I've also just went out of my way to find opportunities for her to go to school. She could have had a free line at an LPN school, and it's too much. Or more responsibilities to get a raise, but it's the entitled mentality that holds her back. My parents went from comfortable to very wealthy after I was already an adult. I get a lot of shit for coming from money when the reality is I got all the shit parts of the process. I went to a dozen schools and never graduated. I had to make new friends every year when the next job opportunity came up across the country. It's not all sunshine and rainbows, and I'd still like to take my in unstable childhood over that of my youngest sibling who is growing up in this rich world that breeds narcissists. You spend more as you have more, and it's very easy to end up not actually having any more because you spent it. In good part, it's because well-paying jobs often demand a lot of hours and availability from you, and you feel guilt for that. So, when it comes to spending the cash, you throw it around, because, hey, that's the payoff. That's what you work for. So, you eat at really good restaurants, you holiday in really expensive places, you move to a great part of town, you send your kids to good private schools, you buy a sweet car, stuff like that. And all of those things eat up so much cash that unless you are genuinely in the 1%, you're actually not much further from the breadline than someone on much less money. And the job you took, knowing it would be hard toil and bleak, but that you could weather it for two or three years and then retire, well, you can't retire. Because who'll pay the school fees, the mortgage, the next holiday in Mystique, etc. It's a very easy trap to fall into. When your income rises, your lifestyle adapts, and you're just stuck in the same place that you were before. Snobby rich people aren't the norm. Most wealthy people quietly make their money and live their lives. I noticed growing up in an affluent area that it was often the less affluent people that tried to flaunt wealth with new cars, designer clothes, and generally snobby behavior. I got most of my clothes from secondhand stores or Walmart or the like, and I got my dad's old car, as did most of the people I knew that were actually wealthy. People that actually have money don't feel the need to flaunt it and usually try to hide it. It's the difference between putting a 20 on the outside of a wad of 1s or a 1 on the outside of a wad of 20s. Growing up in a somewhat wealthy family just makes you take some things for granted. I currently have an iPhone 8, and I just had my old Galaxy S7 Edge and iPod 5 laying around. My family recently hosted two people from somewhere in South Africa, and I gave them the two devices I didn't even use. They were so happy and excited about having them, but to me it was absolutely nothing giving them away. You really forget that there are people who have less and forget to appreciate how much you have. I asked my boyfriend because he comes from a very rich family. I'm South African immigrant, so I really don't know him or how rich he was when he met. 
He says it was difficult for him to make friends or date because people knew his family for being well off, and he didn't know if people really wanted to be his friend or wanted to get something from him. Also, what I noticed is he will leave lights on when goes out, doesn't care, well, I care. Let the water run without worrying about the bill, simple things like that. I care, he doesn't. I dated someone who was very wealthy and had a huge family. Lots of cars, properties, old family money stuff. When I first met him, I had no clue that he was wealthy because he's just a good, sweet country boy. As the time went on, I realized the mental toll it took on him because he's in line to take over the family business. He worried all of the time whether or not people were just using him and he had a lot of paranoia. Also, since the family is so big and they all have a lot of money from family businesses and everything is intertwined, there is a lot of family drama. One time, my ex started freaking out because his dad was at a car show and owned not only one collectible car, like everyone thought, but two. And I snapchatted it and had the in to instantly take it down because his family saw it and were asking all of these questions and were super pissed. They lied their way out of it and honestly, I felt like there were just so many secrets. I love them all dearly to this day, but it just made me so sad. Just the other day, my ex said something to me about how he would have bought me all the diamonds in the world, and I replied about how all I wanted was his love and his time, and I would have lived in a shack with him if it meant we could have worked out. Anyways, wealth does things to people, and after that whole experience, I can see why it's sometimes viewed as the root of all evil. That's a little dramatic, maybe, but still. I suspected my boyfriend was from a wealthy family, but when he told me what family he was from, I freaked out a little. He acts like a normal guy, minus the fact that he's very flippant about how much money things cost. I had asked him if he wanted to go with me to visit my friend in New York, and he said sure. So when I mentioned my friend said our hotel has to have a bathtub, and he goes, well, we'd be staying at the Waldorf. They obviously have bathtubs. I said I couldn't afford the Waldorf, and he goes, it's only 1000 a night, plus you won't be paying. He's already offered to help me pay off my debt, which is about $50,000 in total. Offered to take me to Bora Bora for my birthday when I jokingly asked if we could. And he bought me $255 Versace sunglasses because they made, me, they made him think of me. And he's also planning to take me to a wedding in Monaco where I would pay for nothing. And told me if I passed the FSOT on the first try, he'd give me a million dollars. On the flip side, on our first date, he asked if I was okay with him paying for dinner. And offered to rock, paper, scissors me for it. He lost, so he paid, but we generally decide who pays that way. It's nice knowing if I ask for something small or big, I'll get it, since with my ex, I had to pay for everything, even my own prom corsage, but it also freaks me out that he has that much money. I don't know. This will get buried, but I just wanted to share my perspective. People don't usually think about the responsibility and stress that comes with money. It's not like those rich people just sit at home, do nothing, and collect the money, although some do. Most likely, those people work a stressful job where, even when they get home, they can't totally disconnect from their job. They may always be worrying about what to do next, planning the work projects, etc. And there's a good chance those people who work, who don't work a 40-hour week, they probably work 60 hours and more. Who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more stories.